Back in time, long ago, there was a vision to record a Super Mario 64 Let's Play. But when the world needed it most, it vanished. Today, that all changes. Today, we will rise again and see a new dawn. Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to your weekly episode of Super Mario 64, of course. Uh, super and we're going to decide where to go, then we're going to go Lethal Love Land, no we're not! We're going to go to Shifting Sandlands, because that's how good we are. We don't give a shit where we're going, and we're, oh, we're so fucking good. So fucking good, we got in the painting first try. It's not even a painting, it's just a, just a wall, like if I put the wall there anyway. Okay, where are we going to go? Uh, I think let's, may as well go forward in Shifting sand land. Of course, we've already got a star here, so we're basically an expert in this level. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Uh, you know what, That that's just, we didn't need that coin anyway, honestly. Um, go past big spiky boy. That's a technical name and we can easily get past these these blocks quite easily We'll just go over and uh, You know what um, shifting sand land terrible level. Let's let's go somewhere else. I don't care just shifting just a just a just a bad level Shifting sand. I mean sands don't shift like I mean what, what are you even talking about shifting sand land? <laughs> Why isn't he doing anything? I, I don't get it why isn't he do I mean, um, I'm, I'm clearly playing this game right now and definitely not post commentary. And we're going, we're going. All right, where are we going? No, we're not going. We're not going. We're, we're, go we're going to stand still for a bit. We're, clearly, uh, I just I just need a bit of time to think. Um, just just a bit of time to kind of process my thoughts and really think, um, what what is life if not just a random series of events? No, we're going again. Uh, we're going and... <laughs> <laughs> Bonking into another wall. Can we get a, a counter for that? All right, we've got a hazy maze cave. How many stars have we got here? Oh, many stars here. Basically an expert in this level. But left or right? Uh, of course, you always go left in hazy maze cave. Why would you ever go right? Cheeky long jump there. That That's um, actually a pro strat. So long jumps actually allow you to jump further distances. So... Uh, if you're not really, if you didn't really know that, um, that's why it's called a long jump because it allows you to jump long. Highly technical term. Uh, we're gonna. <laughs> uh, that. Holy fuck. <laughs> you fuck. I mean, no, no, no. Um, th this is clearly me just playing the game right now. We're gonna go down into the basement here. No, we're not. We're, we're gonna. We're gonna be grabbing some coins. If I didn't know any better, we might be going for the 100 coin star. So, the 100 coin star. For those of you who are wondering, it's really unexplainable. There's no real no way known. The hundred, the hundred coin star spawns completely randomly, uh, to my knowledge. Okay, we're gonna find Lapras here. I know it has another name, but I forgot it. Programmer. This piece we have abandoned our efforts for the hundred coin star. Get the coins. Get the coins. It's right there, dude. I guess we can speed up through this section, hey? And we're back. Lots of interesting footage there, and another bonk. Whoa, what a what a pro gamer this guy is. And going in the left door, which is what I found, as I found out, that's technically faster. <laughs> I don't think there's much to say about this this level. It's, it's really quite a small level. You just have to not fall in the fucking water, and you're fine. Cheeky red coin there. Two cheeky red coins up here. Fuck, don't fall off. Don't fall off, you dickhead. <laughs> don't fall in the water. Oh wait, no, that's okay. You can. We can get up on the, the little ledge as long as we don't... Okay, as long as we don't get sucked down into the castle moat there. Thus wasting all our progress. I always really did like the levels where, like, they were actually somehow connected to the outside. Like the Metal Cap Cavern, which you go through a pool in the ground, and then you go into a Hazy Maze Cave, and then somehow that leads to another cave, which leads to the outside of the castle somehow. And Die Diadox is the same. It's a painting. How does it lead to the outside of a castle? I never really got that. Go figure. Logic. It looks like there's three more stars here. We didn't even get a star in Hazy Maze Cave. That's how bad we are. Okay. There's a star right up there. Can we just go get it? Or nah? Or we good? Can we just go? No, we just... Okay. I guess we'll go the long way. Even though there's a star right above me. Of course... Of course, we, we, we like to get hit by the boulders. I think I've been hit by all three. All three positions of those boulders now. And it looks like we are going after the 100 coin star this time. All right. No, we're gonna wait for the elevator. Oh, we just, have, just go get the star, dude. 
Are we going to back really try and backwards long jump? Are you really going to do that? What are you going to do? The tension is currently killing me. Are you really going to backwards long jump? <laughs> Very good. Perfect. Perfect uh, backwards long jump there. And now I have to get back past the boulders. And I have no idea how to use this. You've already got that star. What are you doing? Man, uh, I gotta be real. I'm not good at this game. I got the star instead of going past the boulders. Okay, please, this time, can we get just just one star from Hazy Maze Cave? Just one. All right, we're going the other way. That's the start. Oh, a cheeky little dive there. All right, we're still not going to get the 100 coin star. We're just going to go into the, the maze. All right. All right, get the metal cap. Are we going to get the... It looks, does not look like we're going for the 100 coins. Now, I believe, uh, from memory, this this one leads to star 5, and the second one leads to, leads to star 4. And that is entirely based off my remembering from when I used to watch my dad play this game when I was probably seven or eight years old. And yes, I am that old. The pro struts, the Mario cam. Nope, going out of the Mario cam. Obviously not the pro struts. And we're going to do a very, very efficient and fast way to get this stuff. Maybe we can skip over this too. And there we go. Nice cheeky little star for us. Now, which star is this? I'm genuinely curious. Amazing Mage CX, it is the fifth star. Occasionally, my memory is atrocious. In this case, it was good. Although, I gotta be real, my memory is almost entirely dedicated to remembering useless shit like Pokemon stats and Super Mario 64 stars in lieu of anything actually useful. So, there's that. Okay, that looks like now we just need to grab the other... Okay, now we're gonna get the 100 coins? Is that, is that what we're gonna do? You do you, man. I've, uh... I'm being a bit scatterbrained here. We'll say that. This time, does look like we're going for 100 coins this time. Uh, of course, I recorded this just last week, so I definitely know exactly what I was thinking at the time and knew exactly what I was doing. Blue coins, and this is always a bit confusing. Luckily, I know exactly where to go because I'm a pro gamer. And got all the blue coins in a pr what's known as a pro gamer move. And now in a not programmer move, I'm going to exit and I'm going to realize that there's going to be a star up here and not enough coins to get the 100 coin star. And yes, I'm going to turn around because of that. <laughs> because I'm such a pro gamer that I realized even before I got there that I was not going to be able to get that star. It was going to be... Whoa, alrighty. Pro gamer move. Pro gamer strats. Can we get some, um, I don't know, pog in the chat? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really... I don't really choose stream. I, I'm not sure. Okay, we're going to go to the actual emergency exit of the maze, and I don't know, maybe collect some red coins. That might be an idea, you dickhead. That might be an actual fucking idea. No, we, we're gonna we're gonna get the, the scuttle bugs because they give many many coins. We're gonna get some red coins. Okay, I'm glad to know my past self is listening to me. Uh, by past self, obviously, I mean from one week ago. Maybe a little more than a week. Maybe like two weeks, mate, max. Didn't I already get this star? Hmm. Maybe I should have gotten this 100 coin star when I got the red coins. Maybe that would have been a good strat, but it's impossible to know. No one will ever know. I was going to say, uh, and uh, another programmer strat there. So, so what that does is set up the RNG for later. So that eyeball is going to be perfectly placed for a strat, uh, which will pay off much, much later. I mean, maybe in 50 stars time. I haven't seen this, but my prediction is we're going to get to about 80 coins and we're going to fall on the hole right there. That's that's my that's my pro gamer prediction right here. But who's to know? Who's to know? Dodge the boulders this time. We're such a pro gamer that we can learn from our previous mistakes. And really, isn't that what just a pro gamer is being about? Really knowing your limitations, just really putting in the effort to... Make sure you're the best gamer you can be. All right, there are some coins on the island. Unfortunately, there are not enough coins to get to 100. So unfortunately, poor Ripper here is going to need to find another source of coins. Wouldn't it be funny if we accidentally collected the star here? And he's now realizing that um, there are no coins here. You need 14 more coins from somewhere and you need to go back past the rolling rocks. Pro gamer move. Yes. Ascending this ramp in a programmer fashion. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would say I had overdone this programmer joke. But I think the saying goes that moderation is um, 
bad or something. I don't know. And uh, let's see if my prediction comes true in that we are just going to die a horrible death by falling into the hole. Well, we got hit by a boulder, so that's a good start. Going the other way across the hole. Managing to get out vaguely. Still not out of danger. Oh. Oh shit. I'm legitimately surprised. Even though I, I got hit by a scuttlebug randomly, I apparently managed to not fall down the hole. I'm legitimately surprised. Okay, it looks like we're gonna go back and collect some more red coins. Oh ho ho! Pro gamer wall jump there. Whoa! Alrighty! Woo! Back off! Back the fuck off! I just peaked my microphone. I should have uh, tested my levels beforehand and I wouldn't have picked my microphone there. We're gonna long jump again. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking. You know what? You know what? We only needed one. We only needed one red coin. That's fine. We didn't need any more. Although, for real, we're, we're gonna need some more red coins just quietly. We're gonna do the long jump again? No, we're, we're gonna go the safe way. We're gonna play it cool. We're gonna be able to jump over this. We are not, but we, may, we save it. We save it. Let's go. I'm gonna go over to this eyeball and this this will work very well because I have extremely good control over the game and and that's all I'll have to say about that. The Mario movement coming out this run showing that the 20 year old Nintendo 64 controllers still have some fight left in them. The joysticks are barely usable but they still have some fight left in them and honestly if anything it's the character of those controllers that really makes this game worthwhile. Five coins left, can he do it? The crowd is holding their breath right now. Just three coins left, we go for the long jump, we make it! Risky strats here guys, and I'm, I'm sorry to if I'm making you guys excited. Please remain in your seats because it's not over yet, we're going for another long jump! <gasps> we nail it and there's one coin left, one single coin. If I die now, it'll be all for nothing. I'm gonna go back into the toxic phase, the most dangerous part of all of Super Mario 64, as everyone knows. And taking damage initially, geez, we are three hearts down in the toxic maze. I'm not sure if I can take any more of this. I, I cannot look away. Oh, I'm taking, taking knockback, not even damage from the moles. This is, folks, I don't know what more I can say about this. Let's go. Can we kill a butterfly without taking a million times of damage? The fire, oh, he's got him. And he, he, he saves it. One coin, and he gets it. Yes. Let's go, 100 coins. I'd like to thank everyone out there who believed in me. I'd like to thank the Oscar nomination committee, obviously director, producer, and we've completed Hazy Maze Cave. Let's go. And really, guys, I guess I just want to thank everyone for watching this series, and actually, in a moment, I've been completely serious. This series is coming back. Thank you all for watching, and everyone who loves this series, I'm going to start doing it, doing it again, because it's a fuck ton of fun me getting to goof off in this awesome game. So thanks so much for watching. I will actually, for real, catch you next time. Peace.